Hello everyone. Uh, Transport Fever 2 was uh, released uh, mid-December. There's been a couple of patches since then, uh, but the game has been pretty solid so far. Uh, I've done a couple of playthroughs and I think I've got a feel for what's changed since uh, Transport Fever. Uh, so I figured I'll uh, uh, I'll just do a series here. So the uh, the map I have experimental map sizes enabled, uh, which is, so this is the megalomaniac size, which is the absolute maximum size the game has. Uh, with uh, and I'm doing this on a square map with a medium number of towns and industries, so that gives 36 towns, 290 industries. Uh, I've got the, f the forest turned down to the minimum notch. That will give much much fewer trees, and that should help with uh, performance overall. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I've got everything else set to the middle, and this is going to be on the dry um, the dry uh, type map. So that's going to give us this river. You can see the map seed here if you want to try this particular one. So we'll go next. Um, now we'll start in 1850. I'll go for uh, medium difficulty. Um, now let's go in the settings here. I'm going for uh, temperate climate, American town names so that I have a chance of being able to pronounce them. Uh, and I'm enabling all vehicles, so that means we get the vehicles from all around the, the, the game. Um, now, what, so mods. I have achievements with mods enabled, just so if I happen to trip one, great. Uh, Industry Tycoon 2, you know, that allows to uh, found uh, industries during the uh, game. I'm going to disable that one. Uh, uh, just because uh, uh, you know, I'm not likely going to. Smoke reduction I have enabled. It just reduces the amount of smoke, so it makes the game a little easier to play. And I've got a couple of uh, a bridge mods enabled here. Um, and I think there's... Uh, uh, another bridge one that I want to enable. One of those has Jolly Green in it, I believe. You know, Colonel Failure's favorite bridge. Um, okay. Uh, right. Okay. So this really isn't changing the game all that much. It's just... Um, it's just some uh, some additional uh, bridges and uh, uh, you know quality of life uh, smoke reduction and then because of those I've enabled achievements with mods just in case something I do here would trip trip an achievement you know just just because uh, and you can actually edit that as a setting in the configuration file anyway so we'll save that. So I'm going to go with medium difficulty, I think. Do I want to try hard? Uh, no, I'll stick with medium. Uh, I don't want the game to be impossibly hard, uh, but uh, anyway. Uh, okay, so start the game. This is going to take somewhere between uh, uh, half an eternity and three eternities to, uh, to finish here. Uh, anyway, uh, my goal here, uh, depending on how the map actually looks, is to uh, concentrate largely on passengers. Uh, at some point I will likely uh, connect up uh, industries as well. Uh, but uh, I want to concentrate on passengers. Uh, now, this will um, this will limit the um, town growth rates uh, some because if you provide the uh, the in, the uh, goods that they demand, they get a boost to their growth. 
but uh, you also get a similar boost on growth from uh, connecting up the various um, towns so that the people can get where they want to go. Now, uh, as the game progresses, uh, connecting the towns uh, improves uh, much better uh, as the transport modes get faster. Uh, the uh, the passengers can get further and that increases the connectivity and that definitely helps with uh, with town growth uh, and with only two uh, demands per town uh, you know, the the impact um, of the uh, the growth from that is uh, well it's not nothing but once you have a well connected um, network uh, it's not as significant as uh, as compared to other factors uh, you definitely want to uh, minimize emissions though that's a new thing with transport fever too because uh, that can uh, substantially curtail town growth uh, I've actually had emissions knock the knock 40 percentage points off of the uh, the growth total. Um, I guess uh, the way town growth works. While we're waiting for the uh, the screen to finish here, uh, each town has a base population, and the. Um, uh, then the various factors will add a, a percentage points to the uh, total to the total modifier, and that the base population is multiplied by that modifier to give a target population the town is uh, roughly aiming for. So as that uh, so as those percentage numbers go up, then that target number goes up and the town grows. Uh, I've had emissions actually bad enough that it was knocking 40, uh, 40 percentage points off. So uh, you can definitely uh, seriously hamper your town growth by having your uh, massive uh, uh, smoke spewing coal trains parking in your uh, towns, right? Uh, or your uh, clanking uh, steam powered trams or whatever. Um, hmm, this is taking a moment. Uh, it's at 100% and it seems to be stuck. Come on, launch. Well, I have a mouse pointer at least. Oh, no. The bar is moving now. Uh, I think they definitely need to substantially improve the uh, map generator uh, speed since it uh, does the map generation to provide that mini map in the uh, setup screen and then it does the same thing at more detail for the actual game setup. Loading a game later takes less time. Now of course this is taking as uh, much longer than it would if you were using a normal size map that the game comes with. And here we go. Uh, and here's our uh, map. I'm going to pause the game. I really wish it would start the game paused. Now, uh, okay, so this, um, this isn't, uh, this isn't too bad. Let's, um, towns. Okay, let's uh, look for the largest town. Long Beach is uh, target population 196, 194. Okay, so Long Beach I think is where where I'm going to. Uh, where is it? Ah. So Long Beach, I think, is where I'm going to start. That'll be my headquarters. So uh, what I need to figure out then is 
what do I do for my initial uh, route? Well, uh, Fairfield is too far away, really. McAllen here is uh, yeah that looks like it'll be a uh, functional uh, uh, route that I can build okay now I could start out with uh, horse carts here going between the towns but that's not gonna build up much um, income at any particular rate okay we're these guys are de demanding construction materials right so um, well I do have a quarry and a combat plant up there so that's potential uh, in the uh, near term okay so I'm going to actually uh, start with trains here. Um, I really want to put this in the middle here, I think. Probably this way around. Problem is, if I put this in the middle, I get the emissions right in the way, right? But if I put it outside the town, I'm going to have to set up uh, feeder uh, routes to get the uh, passengers into the, the, the station. Um, yeah, this feels like about the ideal spot for it, but you know what? No. I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to put the station building facing this way. So I'll put this here. And I'm going to send the other end of the line down to McAllen here. And again, I'm going to put this outside the town. yeah that feels like an okay angle so I'm going to connect this with tracks um, but I'm not going to double track it initially because that is expensive at some point I will definitely need to relay this whoops I want to do this as cheaply as I can. So laying the tracks in the uh, short chunks like this will tend to follow the, the curvature of the, the ground, uh, which is quite a uh, money saver, especially early on. Although it would be ideal to basically keep everything on the flat. It's not something that uh, Okay, yeah, I need to start flinging this around this way. Okay. Uh, right. And this is going to create... Now, this, this track would be... What is with that? Okay, so this is lumpy and terrible, but... Uh, that will do um, and I'm going to need one of these now I think I'm going to also aim for a uh, one depot for the entire network so I'll put this here uh, what that has going for it is it gives you a uh, a uh, oh, 
you know, a, a kind of fun way to get a tour of a fair chunk of your network when you launch a train on a uh, really long, uh, long distance, a route that's really long distance from the depot as it uh, navigates your network to get to its starting point. Now, let's see here. Um, I'm going to need a line. So we'll go Long Beach to McAllen. And we will name this. Okay. So ICR is intercity rail. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to need a train on here. So, now we've only got steam trains. Um, so this is a passenger train. Uh, so we kind of want it to be about as fast as it'll go. So the Baldwin six wheels is 75 emissions. There, okay, the D13 is uh, 78 emissions. Uh, it's 66 kilowatts and 20 kilonewtons. And this is 70 kilowatts and 25 kilonewtons. And the class, the Russian class was a class 5 type 1, is 45k kph and 60 kilowatts and 26 kilonewtons. Uh, so 66 and 20, 60 and 26. It can potentially go faster though. Um, and it's cheaper to operate. But the Baldwin has more kilowatts. Um, right. And only 40 kph. Well, I'll take the Baldwin and then passengers. Uh, that one will do 50. These two will do 40. That one is 20 tons, that one's 20 tons. You know what, I'll take that one. And I'll put three coaches on here. And I'll only put the one train on the line. Okay, now it's not gonna go anywhere yet because I haven't actually unpaused the game because there's no point until I get uh, some local uh, routes going in here. So. Uh, I'll start out with the uh, buildings in the road and I will put in uh, truck or, or road stations and I will get it so that it connects to the train station there and uh, overlays. I want not destination, land use. Oh, this is horrid. No, I won't do that. Uh, okay, so I need a couple of uh, stations here. Well, first of all, what does this one cover? Almost nothing. Okay. That covers most of that. And then this should cover most of the rest here. Okay. Now I need a line on there too. 
new line will go from there to there to there and back. Okay. And we'll call this L for local, LB for Long Beach, and we'll call this cross A. I'm using cross as a cross to mean cross town. Okay. Now, whoops, I need a. Now, do I want to make that? No, I want to. I want one. I need one of these. So I'll wang that in there, as Colonel Failure might say. And I'll buy. Now, passenger. There's a. The Troika carries three and is cheap to operate. Horse strong carriage carries four. Uh, Stagecoach is two kilowatts. Ah. Uh, so Well, they both carry four. I just don't see any reason not to use the stagecoach here. So I'm going to put two on here. And I'm going to have to go and do the same thing over here. So, I need one of these again. Now, something that may not be obvious is that the, uh, the road stations at, will act as a through connection into the rail station. So, uh, that's why I'm making sure that it connects to the rail station. Then I just need a road connection here. Uh, streets right okay now I think if I do this yeah I think that will work so I'm gonna need stop here um, and I think here so I think if I wang that around there, yeah, I think that will. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, th this will be good enough. So I'll uh, put on a uh, line. Okay. And we'll call this, okay, and I'm going to need another one of these. And this is just because it's too far away for this one. So I will buy Again, I'll put two stage coaches on. Now, I think that's enough to get things moving. So I'm actually going to run the date at quarter speed. Although, really, 
launching this at one time speed might be kind of slow. But we can uh, ride the train for a bit here. I'm going to try and keep these um, sections here, these parts, at a uh, sane length. You know, try to avoid um, having the uh, the um, parts run, you know, well over an hour. And I think this this will be basically enough for the first part here. Uh, it gets us a, an initial uh, passenger uh, link up going which should be enough that we break even. Okay, our train's up to 40k now. Ooh, that's a nasty slope there. Might actually uh, not... Ooh, that's a horrible lump. Hey, what's with that lump? The, the, the track laying needs a little bit of um, TLC, I think, so that it doesn't make these kinds of lumps. There's no need for this. It, it, it should have just um, shaved the top of the slope off there. But once I have some money coming in, I'll end up uh, relaying that. Oh, look! Uh, an animal. Hey, we didn't uh, clobber it. Yay. Uh, that's a new thing, I think, in uh, Transport Fever 2 as well, is the uh, wildlife. Now, there shouldn't be any passengers waiting here. No, there isn't. And that's because the uh, local lines haven't had a chance to bring passengers in. Well, uh, I think... I think yeah, I will. Uh, I will call this the end of part one. Just it, it just uh, gets the initial uh, setup done and the uh, first uh, lines in. Uh, I'll let this run for just a little bit to um, uh, to see if uh, everything's actually okay. So we got passengers here. I might need more. Oh, I definitely need more, um, more of these. Uh, yeah, I'll put four more on there. And then go down here. Yeah, I'm going to need to do the same thing down here as well. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, speed up the, uh, the game engine here. Uh, okay, so yeah, we've got, uh, we've got passengers moving around here, and it looks like... I'm going to need to potentially add uh, add more uh, coaches here to the uh, line. Um, right. Did you pick up? A okay, we got three passengers on there. 
uh, how many do we have? We have seven waiting there. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got a line here that has a uh, shot of uh, making some money. I'm going to uh, repay some of this loan. It'll save us some money, and then uh, right. So okay, we're up to eleven there. Um, fourteen. Uh, passengers do eventually give up and leave if they get bored waiting too long. Um, okay, so we've got eleven thousand from that uh, that run, and now we've how many have we got on board here? Oh, come on, we've got eighteen on board this time. So when it gets over here. It's going to pick up 21. So this is uh, bedding in nicely. Uh, this one train going back and forth should be able to uh, break us even at least. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So look at that, we've got the the stagecoach coming in there, the train coming in here, we've got the moire pattern on the track, 69,000. How many do we pick up? 25. Okay, and we've got what here? Okay. Well, it looks like I might need a few more on there. Well, I'm going to add four more. Uh, and that'll bring it to an even 10. And it looks like I should do the same thing here. Okay, so that'll bring even more passengers up into here. Okay, I've got 36 there. I may need to extend this train to four or five cars. Uh, I got 20, 27 waiting here. Yeah, it's definitely uh, bringing uh, passengers in, so so that's good. Yeah, so basically, this should get us to the point of being somewhat profitable in uh, a few uh, game, you know, like about a game year. Uh, yeah, what are we up to here? Twenty three. What did we pick up here? 40. Um, and what have we got here? 30. So we're going to have uh, a fair number of them there. Um, right. So let's take a look here. Oh! That's net positive. Well, look at that. Uh, save for the uh, the investments, we would have come out ahead in uh, in quarter two there. So that's uh, that's a good sign. Uh, right? Yeah. So, yeah, 
yeah, it looks like this is definitely going to be uh, profitable. So as you can see, at least on medium difficulty, it's not really difficult to get an initial transport operation online in a way that you start uh, start turning a pro enough of a profit that uh, that you can expand your uh, your transport empire further. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this uh, this time around. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I've said that already. Yeah, uh, next time around, uh, I'll be uh, expanding on this this line here. Uh, I think I'll need to either double track and put a second train on, or uh, uh, extend the train. Uh, and then that then we'll have even more profits going. So uh, I guess that's it for for this time. Uh, and uh, I'll see you back uh, next time. Uh, let's get some uh, footage. Um, slow this back down. Riding a train, uh, and this will be the the exit. So. Look at that beautiful scenery, and uh, I guess I'll see everyone back next time.